Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got chest, triceps, and biceps in this workout. So if you're looking to build and also get in a crazy pump while you're at it, screenshot the screen and I'm gonna show you what to do. So first up is dumbbell flat chest press and you're doing four sets of eight to 12 reps, not including your warm up sets. Everyone has different warm up increments they like to use. So just make sure you get in a few reps and or sets of lighter weight before going in with your working weight. You're then going to pick a weight that will get you around 12 reps and then continue you to increase your weights set to set if you can as long as it keeps you within or close to that 8 to 12 rep range now I increase the weight on my second set but then I end up sticking with that for the rest of my sets and that's just for something outside of this workout with my own strength programming with my press this is something that I had to do this week was three sets of 10 reps with this weight so just ignore that I want you to aim to increase set to set if you can for all four sets now obviously if you get to a weight where you're already struggling to reach those eight reps you can just stick with that weight for the rest of your sets but just make sure that you're choosing challenging loads and pushing yourself while trying to stick within or right around that 8 to 12 rep range I then moved on to close grip bench press primarily for my triceps you're doing three sets of 8 to 12 reps now I am an archer it's how I prefer to press and feel strongest and so if you're an archer if you're not an archer and prefer to do a flat back press do you I'm not here to stop you just do whatever feels the best for you and has you in your strongest position so one of the key things with benching is understanding the bar path it isn't pressing straight up and down if you watch me as I move that bar it's actually moving at a slight angle Angle as you move it down towards your chest and then as you press it back up now this is a closed grip bench press so you're going to grip within shoulder width where you can comfortably grip you can take this more or less drastic depending on what feels best for you and then as you bring that weight down you want to keep your elbows in and your arms close to your side especially as you press up you should really feel your triceps doing a majority of the work here you're going to increase the weight each set if you can and if your strength isn't at barbell level yet you can still do this exercise just swap out the barbell with a short preloaded or a free load bar instead Next up, you're gonna hop on over to your seated chest fly machine and do three sets of 10 to 15 reps, and I did increase the weight each set. So how I like to perform these is I will slightly bend my arms as I bring the weight back to get a maximal stretch in my chest. So this is where my hands will be out in line with my body. So as I'm back, you can see my hands are basically in line with my chest when I reach my furthest stretch point. And then as I go to bring my arms back in, I will begin straightening them out so that by the time I reach the top, my arms are straight, just being slightly out of lockout. This positioning is what is going to help you get the best squeeze in your chest at the top for a really good contraction. You'll then release and go again. Now how far back you set your machine like the arm handles will depend on your mobility. Just make sure you are getting a good amount of a stretch in your chest and don't have it set too forward. Thank you. 
Now moving on to some try and buy isolation work. First up was static hold bicep curls for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. I chose a challenging weight and used that for all three sets because that static hold really creeps up on you, especially when you swap arms and go to do your second arm. So what I do to kind of even that out actually is I will start each new set. So every time after I finish both arms and I go to a new set, I will begin with the opposite side so that each side has a chance to perform fresh and not always post hold. And so as you can see, what you're doing is you're holding one side at a mid curl position while the other arm is fully curling. You will then immediately swap to the other side. Um, I mean, immediately in quotations, cause I'd be taking my good time to swap side to side. The burn is real, but that is where the challenge really sets in. And that is why I like to swap sides set to set. So just make sure that between actual full sets that you do have a good few minutes rest so that the arm that you ended on has time to rest since it will now be the arm that you're beginning on for your next set. After the static holds, I moved on to cable rope pushdowns. Now I didn't superset these two exercises because both of these are brutal enough on their own and I wanted to be able to just focus all my energy on each exercise without worrying about having to do another exercise immediately after. So that's why you're just going to do the static hold curls on their own and then the pushdowns on their own. So this is a pretty standard tricep movement. You're just going to have a slight hinge forward for better stability and as you press the weight down, you're pressing it out at your sides rather than directly directly straight down in front of you. You're doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps and increasing the weight each set if you can. And next up is a super set. So you're starting off with bicep hammer curls and you're curling both sides at the same time. Another staple key movement for your biceps. You're doing three sets of 12 to 15 reps of these, just pumping them out in a controlled manner. And then you'll immediately get down into your tricep focus movement, which you'll see in a second. Before the tries, you're going to do one of my all time favorite movements, floor dumbbell skull crushers. You're also doing these for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. And so you're just going to grab yourself a mat, lay down, bring those dumbbells above you at a slight angle back, lock your arms there. And then while bending at the elbow, bring those dumbbells behind your head until you feel a full stretch in your tricep or you tap the floor, whichever comes first. I just have always loved this exercise. If you're someone who gets discomfort when doing skull crushers, try this out. It may work better for you. It also really allows you to challenge yourself load wise in a safer way. And the pump you get from it is crazy good. So once you finish your three sets of each, you are done. If you try this workout, let me know how it goes down in the comments. If you want more structured training like this, check out my workout programs on my website linked below. My gym fit is from Gymshark. The camo is a real vibe. I'm loving it. They have so many colors in these leggings too, but that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.